What's shaking, Navigation Nation? Today's Thursday, September 17th. Welcome to today's update. S&P's down a cool 30 points. However, uh, they were down about 60. Uh, they've gained back about half of their losses on the day. We've been talking about for about the last week and a half how we had this big push down, uh, had a little bounce, and we are looking for further down prices. This has been consolidating. We talked about it could push all the way back up to the top of this consolidation box, and that's in fact exactly what it did. Yesterday afternoon, the Fed came out, FOMC meeting, Jerome Powell took the stand, and no real surprises, interest rates staying unchanged, basically until 2023, um, uh, targeting an inflation of 2% uh, in that same time frame, uh, or getting to above 2% in that same time frame. But uh, the market initially reacted positively, just kind of kept grinding higher, grinding higher. And then when Jerome took the stand and started talking, things started to fall apart a little bit. And then today, a continuation to the downside, down to the bottom of this consolidation box. So the question is now, do we keep on bouncing around uh, before we'd go lower, or do we just go lower from here? Uh, I think that's the only two options. I don't, I don't see an option where it goes higher. Of course, I'm kidding. Of course, the market can do whatever it wants. It could certainly go higher, but the Wind is to the downside, and that's what we see happening. We see some further downside coming into the market. Uh, NASDAQ down 1.6%. Uh, it was down over 3% at one point today. Uh, so a little bit of a bounce back this afternoon. Uh, oil up 2%. Gold down about a percent. Bonds up a little bit. And Natty Gas down 11 So big moves today. Uh, what do we do today? Well, to start with in our day trading, had a fantastic day. Of course, volatility always equals, well, not always, but usually equals opportunity. So had some big, had a big, uh, big day today, over $2,500 in profits, booked 1200 plus in Facebook, uh, went a little loser in, in, uh, Micron. Netflix plus 1580, Roku plus 491, and then a couple small losers in Target and Tesla. So another good day. I did a, a video recap of today. If you want to check that out, just go to our uh, Facebook group. You can join. That's where we post our video daily recaps. Just go to Facebook and uh, and search for day trading options for income or search for navigation trading, and, uh, and you can join there. So what else do we do? Well, we, uh, we rolled down some of our verticals. We've got some short delta. We're looking for a down move that we finally got after taking a little bit of heat on this grind higher. And, uh, and, and we've still got some, that short delta on. We rolled down some of our verticals to, to extend duration, keep that short delta. Uh, we did add a new uh, iron duck in the S&P. So we've got no risk to the upside. If this thing does rip higher, uh, we've got no risk that way. We've got a huge buffer to the downside. Uh, added a new iron condor in gold, so selling some premium in gold, which is a very uncorrelated uh, vehicle to the markets. And then taking a look at some of these stocks, when we were in the day trading room this morning, everything was red. I mean, I think Nicola was up, and there's a couple others that were just barely flat, like Target and Walmart where were kind of in the flat area. Everything else was red. We got a little bit more of a green sprinkle in here. Boeing edged out positive. Beyond Meat, a little bit positive. Micron bounced back for a little bit of positive. Uh, Peloton up 3%. Zoom up 1%. But uh, by and large, a lot of red on the screen. If you look at uh, Tesla, Tesla down 4%. So some big moves today. We don't expect this volatility to slow down anytime soon, which makes uh, day trading a fantastic situation in this market. So if you want to check out more about that, you can go to navigationtrading.com slash day trade and learn more. If you guys have any questions, let me know. Otherwise, we will see you tomorrow.